Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw, and I'm here with Jody DeSalle, who is the Vice President of Marketing for Experience Kissimmee. Now, most of us who have been down in Florida know where Kissimmee is. It's that gateway to Disney or whatever you want, all the theme parks, but there's a lot more going on in Kissimmee. And in fact, they've just launched a brand new campaign to get more people to think about Kissimmee. Uh, it's a very interesting uh, 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 campaign and we're gonna talk a little bit about it, we're gonna see it. Uh, and Jody's gonna tell us all about it on Insider Travel Report. Now, Jody, uh, first of all, can you describe this new campaign from Experience Kissimmee? Uh, what's the story behind it? Sure. So, um, there's no doubt 2020 has been a challenging year. So, um, we wanted to create a campaign that um, lets everyone know that even though it has been a difficult year, um, you can still have a safe and um, good time here in Kissimmee, Florida. So, the idea is that it's the future. And um, we have two different characters, Jaden and Blair, and they're looking back to 2020. And the only thing that they remember is the good time that they had in Kissimmee. So we thought, wouldn't it be cool in a year that's been so troubling that the only thing these kids remembered was the good time they had in Kissimmee, Florida. So these are adults in the future who are thinking about their time when they were uh, traveling in Kissimmee as kids. An interesting idea. And, <laughs> and as you'll see, in fact, uh, let, let's take a look at two of the spots uh, for this campaign. You'll see what uh, Jody's talking about because it is pretty interesting stuff. It's pretty futuristic. Uh, so let's, let's roll those two spots. My favorite memory of 2020 is my mom taking us to this vacation home in Kissimmee, Florida. She said it was for us to spread out, but it was really to do her video calls like, this is not a virtual background. I'm working for my vacation home, y'all. I'm working for my vacation home pool, y'all. She was on mute the whole time. Twenty twenty. Well, I remember washing my hands a lot. We took a trip to Kissimmee, Florida. I remember petting this crunchy little dude and holding this slimy little dude and feeding these scaly dudes. Yep, washed my hands a ton, but I didn't take a bath once. Now, Jody, those are great. They're, those are fantastic spots. I, I, very creative, very different. Uh, you know, uh, when, when did this idea come to you guys about what, that this would be uh, what you look at and how you do it? I don't remember exactly when it came to us, but we, we did want to, you know, it's a difficult time for a lot of people. And so we wanted to address the fact that it has been a difficult year, um, but we also wanted to kind of have some fun with it. So, um, we worked with our um, brand agency Zambezi, and uh, they kind of helped us come up with the idea, and we were we were pretty thrilled with it. No, it's it's pretty cool. I, I I'm, I'm a bit of a sci-fi buff, so going in the future is fine with me. Uh, and there's a lot a lot of futuristic stuff down in uh, in your area too, with all the theme parks and everything going on. Now, what kind of marketing campaigns have you had in the past? What were what were the, some of those themes? Well, actually, we just in January of 2020 we rebranded and we launched um, the Whelmed campaign. And so the idea with that was that um, at many places you go on vacation, if you, you know, want to go to a beach to relax, you have that rela relaxation component. Or if you want to go to, um, you know, if you want to be on the go all the time and you have like a really thrilling vacation. And so we thought that in Kissimmee, we kind of have both to offer. So you can have a relaxing vacation or you can have a really thrilling uh, vacation. So you're not overwhelmed or underwhelmed. You're perfectly whelmed only in Kissimmee. So uh, we worked all of 2018 to um, get ready to launch that in January, launch yeah. in January, and then the yeah. pandemic things, things changed a bit, huh? A little bit, of the, you know, the, the impact of COVID is pretty devastating. I think I was, uh, I was down in the uh, Florida area at that time too, and, and we had no idea what was going to happen. I was in Mexico and all over the place, and I don't think it really hit home until March, but yeah. uh, obviously then you decided that's probably not the campaign we should be running right now. Exactly. We turned that off immediately, and um, over the course of 2020, just as things have shifted, um, we've turned on different campaigns and turned off different campaigns, and then finally I think that this um, 
this campaign is probably our fourth uh, version of creative we put out there this year. No, that's a, that's a, that's great. Now, who is the target traveler to visit Kissimmee? We see families, um, mostly families with kids of all different ages. Um, we even have some multi-generational travel here, but I would say the majority of it are, are families with young kids. Yeah, well, I remember my, my first uh, visit to Disney World, I stayed in Kissimmee, but right right off of uh, what the main drag there. Uh, 192. Uh, 192, yes, I know it well. Um, and, and that's where we stayed. Uh, we didn't want to pay the prices that was on, on park back then. I was a, a very uh, poor student. So uh, that's where I stayed at the begin with. Uh, but, but, and, and that actually brings me to a question. How have you tried to separate Kissimmee from all the theme? Everybody thinks, oh, that's the gateway to the theme parks. Uh, uh, from all the theme parks in the Orlando, if you have. I mean, I, obviously it's something you do, but there's a lot more to do in Kissimmee, right? Yeah, I mean, we don't really try to separate ourselves from the theme parks. We use them, you know, obviously for proximity, because like you said earlier today, um, some people just don't know where Kissimmee is. And the idea, we try to market the whole destination. And we do have theme parks, and you can do all that if you want to. But we also have a lot of natural attractions, which our counterparts don't have. Um, So, you know, you can kayak on the headwaters of the Everglades, or you can go trekking through trees um, one day, and then the next day you can go have all the thrills you want at Disney or Universal. So um, we kind of use that as our differentiator. So what, what are kind of, you mentioned some of the natural attractions, but what are kind of the distinctive attractions of Kissimmee as its own destination? I know there's even an old town Kissimmee, which I, I passed through. I'm not, I, I don't remember what I saw there, but uh, uh, it, it, there are definitely places that you can go to within in the town, which is a, oh, huge, uh, it's, it's a huge town. It's, a town is not really the right for it. It's like almost a city. Yeah, yeah, no, it is, it is large. And there is an old town in Fun Spot right there on the main drag 192. Um, you can also, what I was talking about earlier, kayaking right off of 192. You wouldn't even know it. There's a little place called Shingle Creek Paddling Center that's tucked away and you can kayak or paddle board in the headwaters, the Everglades. We have an attraction called Wild Florida that is wildly popular. They mm-hmm. have a drive through safari. Um, they have airboats. They have, um, you can walk through and do animal encounters. So there's plenty to do um, without even having to go to the theme parks. No, yeah, that's like, and we, we found that out too when I was down there for a while when I was sheltering down in Florida during this, this crisis. Um, now, uh, it, it, obviously, it's the theme parks are, are, are some of the biggest selling points, but a lot of it is you have a broad range of accommodations in, in Kissimmee. Uh, uh, I think of mostly, mostly mid-market or sort of lower-end hotels, but, and, and a lot of Airbnb type of accommodations. Of course, my, my, our viewers here uh, are travel advisors, so they're not, they're not particularly enamored of selling Airbnbs because they can't sell them. Uh, they can probably set them up for their clients, but they're looking for other places where, you know, maybe they'll get some commission on hotel sales. Can you suggest some stuff or what they can, where they can stay and where their, their uh, clients can stay in Kissimmee? Sure. I mean, we have over 50,000 accommodations in Kissimmee. We are the vacation home capital of the world. Um, But we have everything from affordable um, hotels all the way up to five-star luxury resorts like Gaylord Palms. Oh, right. Um, I forget that Gaylord is on in in, in Kissimmee, right? Yeah, it is right in the heart of Kissimmee. So, I mean, everything from two-bedroom homes all the way up to 12-bedroom mansions from vacation homes. And these are managed properties, Um, not what you particularly think of when you think of it like most people think of an Airbnb, these are actual houses that have amenities just like hotels. So. No, so, and, and I, yeah. I do, as I mentioned, I, we, we were trying because we were staying long term, uh, some, some beautiful accommodations for Airbnb, no, no question about it. And, and definitely it, it, they're just the vacation home market there is expanding just tenfold. Even during all of this, I yeah. still see a lot of construction when I was zooming through there. Uh, and, but you have some good upscale properties. I think there's a nice one in celebration. There's nice things that, you know, are, are really kind of upscales. You mentioned Gaylord, which is, is, is Gaylord Ponds, which is really uh, a great destination uh, for uh, conventions and meetings and things like that. Of course, not right now, but uh, hopefully, hopefully soon. So we'll see what happens. But is there any other way that you would recommend that uh, travel advisors or travel agencies sell Kissimmee? Uh, how, how, how can they better sell this destination? Um, I think it's just kind of what we talked about earlier. There's more than just the theme parks. I think that, the, you know, we have Margaritaville just opened a new resort here last year. It's a beautiful oh. property. 
Um, they have both um, a hotel and vacation home rentals available. So right there in one area, they have, they've opened restaurants and shops. So it's kind of some more self-contained areas. So if you just want to go to Margaritaville for a day, you can spend the whole day there. There's a water park there as well. Um, so I think just getting to know the, the attractions outside of theme parks would be helpful for travel advisors. Well, and, and also the resorts outside the theme parks. Obviously, Margaritaville, Gaylord Ponds, and some of the hotels are really nice places to stay, and they're not too far away from any of the parks. And as you said, uh, you can also get access to all the natural attractions out there. And it, it, is, it is a huge expanse. I, I, I always forget how big Kissimmee really is. Uh, you know, and, and when you go out and you see all the vacation home developments, you realize there's even more room because they keep building them. Uh, and they are nice places, but there are definitely some commissionable opportunities with some of these hotels that uh, that our, our viewers can look into. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to get out to our 75,000 travel advisors about this new campaign or how they can better sell Kissimmee? No, I think that we did a great job covering it all. Okay, well, Jody, I want to thank you for taking the time uh, to tell us. It was, it, was a, it was my refuge there for a few months, about three months, and I got to know it pretty well, although generally that meant uh, knowing where the, the target was or the uh, Panera bread. Uh, that, that, so it was one of those getting a cinnamon roll, you know, that was my treat sometimes in the midst of this. Uh, but it was, it was really very comfortable and it's, of course, it's beautiful weather and, uh, it's, it's, it's really a great alternative place to stay. Uh, one of the main places to stay when, uh, you, when all of our viewers will send their clients down to, uh, Florida to the, to the parks. But again, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. Thank you. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.